In previous program, we don't know the process of shipbuilding. Of course, not all is done immediately. Drawings are the first in his work. Physics, mathematics, geometry and everything in microns of calculation. Later, using these drawings, he starts working. I've understood that this is a secret story about himself. I immediately came to the idea to make model in honor of Alexander Green. He was the greatest person who had the better of the Soviet authority. Nikola Sedristi was taken from airport in Moscow to Lubyanka. He didn't know what the issue of this invitation was. The Mikola Sedristi Museum of Micro Miniatures, this unremarkable two-story building, preserves exhibitions which can surprise the most art connoisseurs. It seems these works were created not by a simple man, but by a magician. Invisible to human eye, magic reveals in all its mysterious beauty with the help of microscopes. Nikola Sedristi is the most talented master of micro miniature in the world. His permanent exhibitions are presented in Kiev, Andorra, and Moscow. His mobile collections were exhibited almost all over the world. In Sweden, my works were presented for five years, then there were Norway, Denmark, Canada, America. I was in New Orleans, San Diego, Orlando and Atlanta. Even the USA president attended my exhibition. Also, I was in India, Singapore and Japan. Mikola Sedristi was summoned to Lubyanka in Moscow after one of such visits to America. It was the headquarters of the Soviet state security agencies. Yevhenny Petrov-Ranov, the head of the intelligence and counterintelligence of the USSR, summoned Sedristi. He knew about me everything, about my world success. We talked about it in Lubyanka security office. I even told him that the collapse of the USSR would come soon. I even said the year when it happened. But, in fact, it didn't matter. Are you sure, Mikola Sedristi, that the Soviet Union will fall? Don't even doubt. How soon will it happen? Soon, very soon. Mikola Sedristi read many works of dictators of the 20th century at that time, starting from Lenin and ending with Pol Pot. Master of the miniature art was interested of how these politicians processed the crowd. This was the main interest of my life. I studied the psychology of dictators, their secrets and even their passion in private life. Mikola Sedristi made an interesting but unpleasant and at the same time paradoxical conclusion. Rascals ruled nations of the world. In fact, such people all over the world are usually degenerates. They compensate their power inferiority over the people. Among them there were Lenin, Chichering, Krasin, Hitler. 
Anatoly Lunacharsky wrote articles about benefits of courage and nerve. Political life is full of such different people with aggressive tendencies. Mikola Sadristi, using these sources, made another discovery which radically changed his world outlook. It wasn't something like pushing away from the ruling at that time Communist Party, but led to confrontation. But why a simple artist and master of micro-miniature suddenly began reading literature about rulers and political figures of the 20th century? Being a creative person, even as a student, he really thought that Lenin was the most human person. He studied for his own way in creativity. He decided to portray Lenin, but in a special way. It wasn't a drawing. It were texts written with a pen and ink on a Watman paper. Oh my God! You are again working at Lenin portrait. You just spoil your eyesight and that's all. Mom, I'm not doing monument of Lenin, I try to show the level of my skill. He drew lines on a Watman with needle and then he wrote with a thin pen and ink as in a notebook. Letters and press were different. Due to the game of light and shadow he made such portrait. In order to write, portrait master needed texts. That's why Mikola Sadristi reread all collection of Lenin's works. Not very pleasant and positive picture depicted after studying manuals. It seemed for him that Lenin always called for terror, violence and robbery. He was interested in fact, what kind of leader Lenin was? Who was he? As you know, monument to Lenin stood in Khrushchev Street for many years. Finding information about this political leader, you are in shock that Lenin sent troops to Ukraine three times. Mikhailo Muravyov, whose monument is placed in Verkhovna Rada yard, killed 2,000 people for two weeks and shot 5,000 people. There is a question, how could Ukrainians set a monument to him? Under the impression of reading documents and writing only half of the portrait, student of Kharkiv State University, Mikola Sadristi, went to the Department of Marxism-Leninism and expressed his thoughts to one of the professors. Listen, Lenin, in fact, was worse than Hitler. It seems that his favorite words were shoot and destroy. Finish your work and keep quiet. Perhaps the best times will come sometimes, and you can tell about it, but unfortunately it won't be soon. Mikola Sedristi had finished his work exclusively for demonstration of his mastery and not for exaltation of bloody leader. He wrote his works six months, 12 hours, a day in a rural house, in light of the kerosene lamp. Since that moment, Mikola Sedristi took a great interest of history. He read all the works of so-called apologists of Marxism-Leninism. Information terrified him. He is still surprised how people gave way to such a grand deception. Lenin, appearing on the Red Square in 1920, told the huge mass of people a lie. He felt like a genius. He ruled the whole Russia thanks to terror and fear. Lenin depressed the instinct of self-preservation among all people of the Russian state. Lenin announced, all those who are not older than 35 years will live under communism. In every big city there will be toilets made of gold. Similar paradox is connected with Marx. He was immortalized by communists in Russia first and then all over the Union, setting monuments and names of the streets. By the way, this worship remains in modern Russian Federation even now. It is obvious that this contradicts common sense. You know that Marx's works consist of eight volumes where he didn't name Russians as Russians by origin. He called them the barbarians. 
Russians are two barbarians to find pleasure in any mental work, Marx said. He hated Russia with all his heart. He wanted to destroy it because he was a pan-German, was working for special services of Germany and Prussia. Nevertheless, monuments to him are set in Russia. For many years, Mykola Sedristi has been studying history of totalitarian regimes, communism, fascism and nazism. Collected facts don't leave any change for those who are nostalgic for the Soviet Union. It is obvious that communism, fascism, Marxism and Leninism are all the same, the same words but under different surnames. The first concentration camps for his own people were built by Lenin. There were 48 and everyone knows this fact. Stalin increased this number to 500. Hitler was just trailed far behind. Hitler admitted that he always learned from his political opponents. He studied works of Lenin, Marx, Trotsky and other followers. Moreover, the Führer considered himself a Marxist. According to his words, he didn't fight with Marx. Also, Hitler said, however, there is more similarity between us and the Bolsheviks than differences. I always took this circumstance into account. I gave the order to allow former communists to join our party. These were Hitler's words. During many years of studying totalitarian regimes, Mykola Sedristi collected incontrovertible evidence of communist error. Master of Miniature Art paid special attention to Holodomor, the Great Famine of 1932-1933 in Ukraine. You know that the Holodomor was organized by Lenin, although some of historians are still trying to state that Lenin had nothing to do with this fact, that Stalin was the ringleader. The cult of Stalin's personality was used in order for the Communist Party to have the right to exist. However, Mykola Sedristi found the quote in Lenin's works, our last and decisive battle against Byzant will be in 1931. Lenin died in 1924, not surviving seven years. According to Russian adepts, he died as a result of atherosclerosis. Israel researchers are sure it was a form of neurosyphilis. He was the organizer and the customers. Lenin wrote, there will be a fight. The world didn't know yet. There will be no need to sharp bullets or build gallows. Bullets will be saved, Lenin said. Such fascination with history, namely diaries of dictators, can put the person at significant risk. It can send him crazy or get under their influence. After studying and dealing with all criminals, I read world poetry. I knew Russian poetry perfectly well, Pushkin, Lermontov and others. I studied poetry of Spain and Chile, Gabriel Mistral. In order not to fall into captivity to politics, I studied poetry, as all these poets are close to God. Mykola Sadristi also writes poems, he admires nature, its phenomena all his life. I really like his style and poems he wrote when he traveled in many countries of the world. Mykola made his contribution not only to studies of the Holodomor. He participated in foundation of the National Holodomor Victims Memorial Museum. He created the collection of texts on the memorial plates. The master of miniature art made another invaluable contribution in medicine. These micro-instruments are also used in medicine, neurosurgery, ophthalmology. Sedristi created micro-tools for his doctor friends and the famous ophthalmologist Svetoslav Fedorov.
Museum of Mikola Sedristi Micro Miniatures was created in 1985. The most famous personalities of the world have visited this museum, including athletes, politicians, and presidents. Here you can find completely different exhibits, unique micro miniatures, and evidence of crimes done by the Bolsheviks. Each of these exhibitions impresses visitors in its own way.